You've heard stories of the global epidemic of sex trafficking, how women and girls, as young as 12, are being forced into prostitution. What if you found out that one of them was your neighbor, coworker, friend, daughter, or your mother? Hi, I'm Eliana Borsellino and I'm producing the feature film documentary, Honey Child. Back in the 1970s, my mother, Cindy Borsellino, was forced to prostitute herself at the age of 16. The word trafficking wasn't common at the time, so her identity was as a prostitute, not as a victim. This is the reason she waited so long to tell me. But mother wants to tell their daughter that they were prostituted. Once I found out, I had to know the whole story. And ever since then, my mother and I have been traveling across the United States as she recounts the past and the settings it actually occurred. I, I sat there and I'm like, they're making the money, I wasn't making it. And just that I, I was their tramp. And I read one of those guys in there. I was nothing. <laughs> Like, I wasn't anybody. I hated being alive. I hated that I was there. And I didn't know how to get out. I didn't know what to do. It has become clear to me that this story needs to be shared. So we've invited a film crew to come along. So far we filmed in Indiana, California, Oklahoma, and Texas. It's been quite the road trip with Cindy sharing. I remember the trucks being lined up and then the women would walk through, walk up to the truck drivers and knock on the doors and ask if they wanted any company. We have a lot of footage we've already shot, but we need financial help with post-production and marketing. We also have interviews set up with policy experts, survivors, pimps, and women still being prostituted. We still have a lot of places to go to finish telling Cindy's story, such as Florida, Georgia, and Arizona. Your pledges through this Indiegogo campaign will cover travel expenses for our film crew as Cindy shares her story. Some of the incredible things that I've discovered on this journey are the poems and songs that my mother wrote to help her cope and eventually find healing. This is the box that has all of my mother's memories in it. And there are songs in here, letters from women that she had prostituted with back in the 70s, which is like 40 years ago. I had never, ever seen any of it before, and it just kind of blows my mind. We will be working with legendary music producer Theron Nephew Themester, producer for Michael Jackson's last album. He'll be spearheading the music and reproducing Cindy's songs with current artists. Through our travels, my mother has performed her songs in the very places they were birthed. This journey has opened the door for us to partner with Hot Flash Films, whose producers have worked on NBC Nightly News and Conan O'Brien Can't Stop. We have also gotten to meet with abolitionists who are passionately fighting domestic sex trafficking. I really wanted to participate in this because I saw somebody who was able to take something so dark and to transform it into light. What, what Cindy's doing is the answer. Each of us individually to turn on the light in our own heart and make a change. If this is your heart as well, if you would like to see the world change for these women and children, if you're brave enough to hear the atrocities that take place here in our own safe cities, as it did to my mother, then pledge to our film, follow us, support us. Not only can you be part of this campaign, when you make a pledge to our project, you can select a perk that allows you to join the movement and create a new legacy for future generations. It was because of you that I felt I had a legacy that I could leave behind of more pain, or I had a legacy to leave behind of warriors where we could fight and stand. I want to face this with you. Be a part of leaving a legacy, not of shame, but of hope.